mostly over the summer? Yeah, yeah, all summer. Cool. When did you get back to Chicago? Ten days ago, maybe. Okay. Something like that. Nice. Yeah. Good to be back. How have you felt so far? Good, good. It's been a good start to the camp for me, so it's been been fun to be back and be back on the ice and meet all the guys again, so it's been great. How excited are you to show that you can play at the NHL level and do so for a full season? Yeah, really excited. Uh, this this contract is a huge uh, huge chance for me to, to prove that, and it starts right now at camp, so it's good. What kind of conversations did you have when they let you know that you'd, you'd be starting in the NHL this year and you'd be one of the, one of the main guys? I don't know. It's just to to show up here and, and and show that right away to to earn that spot as well. It's 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 uh, it's gonna be fun. What did you work on this summer? Mostly like my explosiveness, flexibility. I think those are two two great things to have when you when you want to be a goal at this level. If you look at the the best guys in the league, they have that explosiveness and flexibility. So those are two main things I've been working on. Was there something you did in particular to, to kind of improve in, in those regards? Yeah, that, those are two things you really can work on, like both off ice and on the ice. So in the gym, we've been doing a lot of explosive stuff, and then I've done a lot of like stretching and mobility and stuff like that. And even on the ice, you can do explosive drills, like lateral movements in the crease and, and stuff like that. But then you always want to improve you know, all aspects of your game, but those are two two key things I feel like. How much did playing in Rockford the last couple of years really prepare you for, for this? It's been great preparation uh, for two years. I've had great goal coach down there in Pete. Uh, he's helped me a lot and made me comfortable playing over here in North America. And yeah, so his help and then playing in Rockford has been, been great. So I feel, feel ready for this next step. Also playing a lot of games down there, did that help yeah. you? I'm sure that was an yeah. adjustment coming from Europe. Yeah, it's a lot of more games over here than back home. So getting that experience of playing like three games every week, that's been great. And then the games down there have been really crazy sometimes, like a lot of shots. Uh, but I feel like that's been, been great, like good for development. So yeah, it's been, been two great years there. And it's helped me to get where I am today. And, I feel feel ready for this next step. You were also up here a lot because it was kind of a crazy circumstance with all the goaltenders. Yeah. How much did that get you ready, just always having to be ready at a moment's notice? Yeah, that's been been a new experience to just like get called up and down like last year. Uh, you don't really get that back home really in Sweden, but it just makes you like focus on what you can control. like. If you're being called up or sent down, you just keep doing what you're doing. Uh, like in the net, you can just focus on, on what you're doing. So I feel like that's been a good learning for me those two years actually going up and down a little bit to just focus on the things you can control. Do you feel like that's helped your confidence heading into this year? I mean, knowing you've had more experience here than you probably planned to? Yeah, for sure. Like last year I was up for almost first half and that wasn't really what I expected going to last year but that feels I feel like that makes me feel a lot more confident this year I can be here from start and just yeah, keep playing at that level from start it's still early in camp but do you notice more skill and speed uh, with the team overall it's it's hard to say like we've been two groups I haven't really even faced all the new guys yet on the ice so uh, it's it's hard to tell, but I feel like we've done some good good uh, adjustments, like in the lineup. Uh, a lot of great players coming in, so it's it's an exciting year for us and an exciting year to follow the Blackhawks. I think too, so it's gonna be a real fun year uh, for for all of us. I I feel like, and I hope. With so many young defensemen coming in too, Luke was talking about how important it'll be for when you're in net and they're out there for you guys to be communicating and yeah. talking about with, when you're passing it and handling the puck and everything. Yeah. Well, yeah. What kind of things have you worked on in terms of that on ice communication? No, but it's like always with young guys, myself included, like to just speak up and talk a lot and communicate. Like sometimes it's it's going to go wrong, but we, we learn from that. And just as long as we communicate both on the ice and off the ice, like mistakes are gonna come, but we we learn from it. So 
yeah, it's it's, it's gonna happen. But I feel like it's nothing to like worry about that much. Uh, as long as you you learn from it. As a goalie, what scares you most of what Connor Bedard's able to do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that re- release is good. We're having that on on our team. Uh, yeah, that's that's insane. Yeah. Uh, you were talking about communicating. Uh, Lucas said it. Uh, why it has been. Uh, communicating a lot more, being more vocal. Have you yeah. had a chance to notice that? Most time, uh, Wyatt Kaiser, Wyatt Kaiser, being more vocal. Like we haven't like been on the same same group on the ice, really. But, uh, yeah, no, no. That's Is fine. there anything you learned from Jimmy Waite last season? And you're, you played a lot more games than expected. Yeah. Um, things he's taught you, and I know he talked very highly about how well you would take information and like do it the next day. Yeah, yeah. Like he is a great, great goalie coach. I feel like we have a good, good dialogue, uh, both like um, on the ice during practices and even watching, watching like videos from the games afterwards. We. We communicate in a good way, and like one thing we've been working on a lot since the first year I came over here from Sweden is like the the post play overlap play. Uh, so that's like one of the big things we've been changing kind of since I came over here two years ago. And that's still like one of the biggest things we're working on, kind of. The, so your the, pad overlapping. The yeah, post overlapping the post, the like playing back home. You're all like. More often inside with the different angles. So being outside there, like being ready for those sharp angle shots, kind of. Uh, that's one thing we've been working on a lot. Like it's nice to keep keep working on that as well. I saw you doing that after practice one of these days. Yeah, yeah. I know you've done it before with him. So yeah, I'm like last yeah. year and everything. Are yeah. there still new things to learn, or still more to get? Yeah, the it's hang it's, of? it's always new things to learn. Like the game keep changing, so you gotta be. Be open for changing your own game as well, but at the end you don't you don't want to change too much. But at least have have an open mind to try new things. Uh, but then if you don't like it, you shouldn't be doing it. But like the overlap that situation, I like playing it that way. So. Uh.